Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 417. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 415 to 422. Hey, in this trick, we got an exciting goal. Here's our goal. We have a bunch of sheets, February, you can see there's some sales, and then there's the total. March, oh, there's not very many numbers, and there's the total. And then uh, April, and the total's down there. May, ooh, the total's way down here. June, and the question is, how do we get the totals from the bottom of each one of these columns, given that there are variable lengths? Now, each one of these is in the B column. Now, and I've done this exact trick before, where we've actually looked up a particular column. But this trick is going to involve looking up across multiple sheets. Now, I've also done a trick, here it is, right here, with all the details. So you can watch that for complete details of just this one trick. We're going to combine it with an indirect function trick, which you can see right there also. Let's just see how the. Uh, looking up the last number in February would work. We're going to use equals lookup. And lookup, we need the lookup value. Now, we need a method of getting to the last uh, value. Notice they're all numbers over in the February, March, etc. So we can use this trick. Use the biggest number in Excel, 9.1234567891011121214. E plus 307. That's the biggest number that Excel can use. Now, if you never have a number over a million, then put a million or whatever. But this is the safe choice because any number you put in that column, it'll now find the last one. Okay? So that's the lookup value. It's just the biggest number ever. Uh, and then you come over to February, and I'm just going to highlight the B column. Notice it put all the syntax up here. Close parentheses, Control Enter. So let's see if it worked. Uh, so there's our sheet reference right there. But let's just see if it worked for February. Did it? And sure enough, it did work. Now, our goal is, since we have lots of sheets, is we have our sheet name here. Let's go look at this. Here's our big number. Uh, and there's our, and by the way, the way lookup works by default, uh, oh, is it only does an approximate lookup. But we're not really worried about there. That big number is it races to the end when it can't find that big number it just selects whatever the last value is but now let's go to to the lookup vector what if we have our names here why don't we just concatenate so I'm gonna double click that February and instead of using the February I'm gonna click right here and then use the ampersand which is join and then double quote around the rest of this junk now, technically, you know, explanation comes at the end of a sheet reference, and that's the um, those are the symbols for the B column. But let's just see if this works right here. Control Enter. It doesn't, and the reason why is because as soon as you start concatenating, it converts it to text. Excel sees it as text. Well, luckily, there's a function called indirect that takes text that represents a reference and converts it back to a reference. So we're going to use indirect. Come here, close parentheses. And that'll do it. Control Enter and uh, double click and send it down. <laughs> See, this one right here is doing that same big number lookup, but now it's looking at June, and then it's got all the syntax for B column. Let's go see if that's right. June, four, oh, that is too cool. Now, that's how I do it here, and the reason why is because all of our sheets don't have any spaces. If they have spaces, then you probably want to switch over or if you want to be super, super careful, this is the same formula. By the way, this is, uh, I found this a post on the Mr. Excel uh, message board, a recent post, so you can go see it there. But the way they set this up is they have, if you put your cursor there in backspace, you can see there's three characters, double quote, single quote, double quote. And I'm going to control Z. The reason why they did that is they put a single quote around the name of the sheet and on the out, uh, right before the explanation point. And that is, if you're super safe, um, if you have spaces here, that means if you change the names of these and include spaces, those single quotes can deal with that. The way we have set up ours originally, it can't deal with those. But forget it. If I know that my sheets are always, uh, you know, three characters for months, then that's the way I'd do it. All right. So uh, look up last 
uh, number across multiple sheets. We'll see you next trick.